Hey everybody, welcome back to another die cast review. This is Chase Elliott's 2020 Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Chevy Camaro. Uh, this ran at the Clash in February. Obviously, he uh, almost won it, but he and Larson got together uh, back, obviously, when Larson was able to race in the 42. Um, and uh, I think ended up that was the wreck that took him out. So, um, anyway, we're doing the Authentics review of that today. We've already done the Elite, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Authentics here. So, uh, 2020 Wave 4, Chase Elliott, uh, free card um, in there. And then you see we got the die cast as well, a uh, nice green box and everything like that. Uh, let's see what's all in this wave. So in this wave, we get Jimmy Johnson's car. I have that one. Noah Gregson, got that one. Um, and then the Chase Elliott car. Those are the three that I have picked up. Now, let's go ahead and pop this thing out of its box. Uh, another good time to shred a box. Um, you know, doing my thing. Here we go. All right. Okay, cool. So the card actually has some trivia on it, and we'll do those trivia questions just because it'd be kind of a nice little add to the to the video. All right, so we'll put the 164 there, we'll put the 124 there, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the card. So here's the card. We've got Chase Elliott's Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Think you know Chase Elliott? All right, I think I do. All right, now, what short track race held in December has Chase won twice? That would be the Snowball Derby. Which track did Chase make his NASCAR Cup Series debut at in 2015? Uh, that would be Martinsville in 2015. And then, uh, what is Chase's real name? William Clyde. All right, the answers are on the bottom, I believe, upside down. Number one, Snowball Derby. Number two, Martinsville. And number three, William Clyde. Well, it's Elliot the second, but William. So it's actually Bill Elliott Jr., theoretically, but he went by Chase. So, um, there you have it. That is the, the statistics the card information. Let's take a look at this little uh, NASCAR Authentics here. So, obviously the NASCAR Authentics, uh, we do actually get a tall spoiler on this one. It's the new Camaro mold for the 164th. Oh, come on. Get a better view here. Um, there we go. So we do have a taller spoiler than before on this 164th. Uh, there you see our front end here um, on that Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Right side there, we still got the green stripe. Obviously, the biggest differences between the two are always going to be windshield banner and interior. But paint scheme-wise, it's always all the exact same. Nothing changing there. Again, um, these are the new 2020 Chevy Camaro molds. Um, so, again, you do get, you see it, that uh, nice tall spoiler on the rear. Um, so, you can see the, the front end is also a little bit flatter than before. Um, but, yes, they did do a new mold for the 2020 Authentics car. So that is a new thing there. We do have our stripes up there. We do even have the little roof hatch, just like on the one six or the one twenty fourth Elite. Um, so it's got all the good details as it, as it does in the rest of them. It's a very solid, solid paint scheme. Um, I, I do like the little card it comes with, having trivia on the back. But to be realistic, uh, I would love the magnets. I love magnets. Um, I don't know if they're more expensive or not. I like having a fridge full of them. So <laughs> that's my personal preference. But. Uh, yeah, overall, very, very solid Authentics car, as usual. Uh, the new 2020 mold looks really good, right up to snuff. We got the Cup Series logo up there, very clean. Um, and then we got our ethanol ring back there and everything. But overall, you know, let's get nice and close here. So there on the left side, you can see that that's where the ethanol ring is. Um, you can see there's a dotted line. Um, <laughs> I, think that was a, I think that's where the decal got, but I think they were supposed to cut that dotted line out because that is not on the Elite. So I think that's a decal error right there. But it's a $5 car. I'm not going to complain that much. If it was the $7 or $8 car, I, I'd be a little bit more tend to complain. Ooh, look at my, look at my nice hands. Uh, but there you can see on the right side, it does not have that little dotted line. It is only here on the left side where you see that dotted line. So that is a, that is a decal error right there. Um... But, again, for a $5 car, I can't complain. I'm, I'm plenty happy with it. So, um, anyway, that'll pretty much wrap up the Authentics review for this car. Um, we're going to do a couple of them today. We're going to do Jimmy Johnson's 48 Ally car as well. That'll be later in the afternoon. So, if you have enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, comment down below. If you have picked up what cars you have gotten from NASCAR or from the Authentics 
Wave 4. Uh, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I upload at least once a day. Sometimes I don't have one on the weekends, but I usually have a race review or something. Um, and then make sure if you're new to subscribe so you don't miss a, or so you get notified of all these videos. Um, I, again, I have a lot of diecast videos or playlists from every single year of race wins is so far, I got a lot of organization yet to do to kind of reorganize the videos, but um, there's plenty of videos and content if you're a diecast fan. So if you are, please subscribe. Other than that, this has been Race Craze. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next diecast review.